So yesterday was an attitude of being thankful. Today is going to be an attitude of being responsible. Here's an equation for you. B does not happen, B, which is behavior, does not happen until A is complete. Your behavior does not happen until your attitude comes into alignment. You know, we can be consistent in our love to these kids because God is consistent with His love toward us. He supplies our need, so we can be filled up. But really, it takes practice sometimes for us to get out of our comfort zone and be a little bit crazy. Sometimes we need to learn to get unstuck from our stiffness, and I'm going to play a video that demonstrates this a little bit. All right, be enthusiastic, be like TJ. <laughs> Everyone give TJ a
I've missed you too as so, so much. Esther, you must listen to me. Please, please be careful. You cannot tell anyone that you are a Jew. You must be responsible, Esther. With this information, please remember to not tell anyone that you are a Jew. Okay, Uncle Mordecai, I will try to be responsible and not tell anyone that I am a Jew. Goodbye, Esther. I hope I will see you soon. Goodbye, Uncle Mordecai. Well, after ten months had passed, the king, yes, King Xerxes, was ready to choose his new boy. So he told his servant, Listen up, attention, listen. It's time. The time has come. I'm ready to pick my new to bring the women that are here in this palace that have been getting themselves ready to see me and bring them to me so that I, King Exorcist, may pick my new queen one more chance! Uh, the, the, the king is so angry. He's gonna be impressed with this one. All right, Esther, please, you are my last chance. You're gonna get up there and you're gonna wow him. Let's go, it's my last shot. Esther 
goes from being an orphan girl with nothing to becoming the king's queen. How amazing. But did you catch in the story where she chose to be responsible? Did you catch where her uncle Mordecai chose to be responsible? When he heard the people who were plotting to kill the king, and he said, oh, he had a choice to make too. He could have act like he didn't hear it, or he could choose to be responsible, and what he did was go and tell the queen. And he told the information to the person that he had to tell, and then she had to be responsible. Today we're going to talk about responsibility. All right? Now our first point is being responsible, no excuses. There are no excuses when you choose to be responsible. Time. See if you know how to take your thought, these thoughts captives, all right? Here comes a thought. It says, that candy? I'm just going to grab it. Nobody will see. Yeah. Woo! Yay! Good job. Give him a hand. responsible for your thoughts. Now you have a, a choice. Are you going to do what's right and be responsible and pick it up you and put it away and be responsible to do what's right? Yes, being responsible sometimes can be difficult. It might not be fun. But tonight I want you to get the point. Choose to be responsible. Father in heaven, thank you so much for each person that's here. I speak a blessing on them as they go home tonight. May we live for your honor and glory. Lord, teach us to be responsible. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for coming. Come back tomorrow. You're dismissed. Starting from the back. Stay in your seat till you're dismissed. How'd today go? Today was Tuesday. We had an awesome day. We had a record of 532 kids. It was a blast.